In this video lesson, I'm going to teach you how to master all of the kicks in Tai Chi. So, if you're ready to get past all the shakes and wobbles, not just in Tai Chi, but in life, stick around. It's David Dorian Ross from DavidDorianRoss.com and TaijiFit.net and welcome to another episode of Learn Tai Chi at Home. Today is day number 47 of 100 Days of Tai Chi, which is our video series where you can learn the traditional long form of what's known as Yang style Tai Chi. So before we go any further, let me just say that if this is your first time here and you're a beginner who'd like to learn how to do Tai Chi at home, then you can get started right now by just clicking that subscribe button. The little bell icon that pops up next to you will let you know whenever there's another lesson so you'll never have to miss another episode. In today's lesson, instead of doing a new movement, I'm actually going to show you some tips and tricks for drilling and practicing some of the more difficult movements and sequences in our Tai Chi form, which are all the kicks. Plus to go along with that, I'm going to teach you the number one overriding principle of learning Tai Chi. So that's all coming up in today's lesson. So if you're ready to get started, let's go back to the Cherry Blossom Studios. So here we are back at the Cherry Blossom Studios to work on a series of simple Tai Chi exercises to master the kicks of Tai Chi. Now, at the end of this series of exercises, I'm going to teach you about the number one most important overriding principle about mastering Tai Chi. So make sure you watch all the way to the end to find what this is. Now I've also brought a cane today. I got such a lot of great feedback about using the chair in the other video that I thought I would try another prop here. And the reason why I brought a cane is because it's something that's portable and lightweight and I think a lot of people might have one lying around the house, but you could certainly use anything for this exercise, something to hold on to. So a chair, a stool, a family member, a stranger walking by, I don't know, you, you take your pick, but I'm going to use the cane today. So what these are are a series of simple kicking drills that I learned from my teacher and that I've made up for my students. And let's get started with the first one. As we start this series of kicking exercises, the first thing that I want to remind everybody is that the kicks do not have to be high. The kicks can be low. All right, having said that, Let's just start with your feet about shoulder width apart and relax by your side. Hold on to that cane. You're going to use it in just a second and just begin by sort of swaying back and forth. In my classes, my students recognize I always call this tick tock, like a big grandfather clock, just tick tocking back and forth. All right, get this cane ready because all I'm going to do is I'm going to tick tock all the way over here and just lift one knee up and then down again and then tick tock over to the other side and one knee up. And if you have a little wobble, that's what the cane is for. Tick tock, the knee comes up and the foot comes out and back in and down. And tick tock over the other side, the knee comes up and the foot comes out. See, nice and easy. Come on over. Now it's two times. Out, in, out, in, and down. Tick tock out, in, out, in, and down, and tick tock. Now, one of the things you could be doing is when this knee comes up, you could be relaxing that low back, getting that tailbone to drop into its slot, so it's out, in, and you're also practicing the low back thing. Now stay with me, because it's hold it out, and toe point, flex, toe point, flex, bring it back in, and down, and tick tock. Cane can be in either hand, doesn't matter. Knee comes up, out, in, out, in, hold it out, and toe flex, or toe point, toe flex, point, you don't care, do you? Back in again, and down, switch over to the other side, and it's one more time, out, in, out, in, hold it out, and point, flex, point out, stay with me, Bring it back in and under the arm, out, in, 
out in hold it out point flex point flex bring it back into the center and down. you still like me <laughs> one more time here and it's up and out in out in I just have to check hold it out there and point flex point flex bring it in under the armpit out in out in hold it out there and point flex point flex bring it back in all the way down and that's our kicking exercise number one now you can do this as many times as you want to you can have as many repetitions as you want to i recommend that you start off with something just basic like one set on each side building up to the time when you go under the armpit and that's good for the first exercise. Now for the second exercise, I put the cane down because I'm going to use both hands in the arm opening. So we're going to add arms with the legs this time. But you can still use the cane or the wall or the chair, whatever prop you wanted to do, and simply do one arm at a time. You would change the other side and do the other arm. Does that make sense? All right, let's start the same way. We're going to stand with the feet about shoulder width apart and just slowly tick tock to both sides. Just slightly letting your weight shift back and forth. As I open out here, I'm going to come in and open out and come in and tap. Then a big step out and come in and tap and a big step out and come in and tap. Now stay with me. We're going to open up the arms like a swinging door. Remember how we do that for all the kicks? Come back in, step out, bring it in one more time, open up the hands and bring it back in. Now stay with me because on this next one, we're just simply going to lift the knee. Knee comes up, open out and down and open. Here the knee is going to come up, the arms are going to open and you kick right to me and back in, close them up and step on out. Beautiful. Now the knee is going to point to the corner, open out, kick on out to the corner, bring it in, close it up and step on out. One more. Bring it up and the knee is, the toe is tucked in, the arms open out, and it's a separation with the toe pointed. Bring it back in, close it up, and step over, and step in with the other foot. So I'm just going to do this a couple of times. Open, step in, open, cross the hands. Ready for this? So it's Bring it in, and it's just the hands opening. Cross them up, step on out. Take your time, no rush. Bring it in, the knee comes up, open. Close it up and step on out again. Now this is a knee up, the hands open, it's a kick right towards me. Bring it back in, close it up. Sideways, back in, the knee points into the corner. Open and kick on out. Bring it back in one last time with the separation. And step down to the middle and relax. Very nice. Now, once again, you could do this as many times as you want to, as many repetitions as feels good. And I would suggest starting out slowly with just one set, but then you could add more multiple sets or do multiple kicks in each set. Up to you. Start slow and build from there. Finally, here's our third Tai Chi kicking exercise or kicking drill. And you could do this standing in one place. You could also do this with the cane. And again, just use this as a one-armed 
kind of combination, meaning I want to combine both hands and feet. This drill was originally designed to be progressing. In other words, I would be walking forward as I do this, but you don't have to. You could do it all in one spot. So again, here's how I start. I'm just going to start with my feet about shoulder width apart. My hands open up. Now I'm going to shift over to this foot on this side. Gather up the hands. The knee and the hands come up. Open out just a simple kick. Bring it back in and switch. Knee comes up, open out, and switch. Open. I was just playing with my tailbone tuck there a little bit, or tailbone drop. I said tuck. Tailbone drop, open. And see, here's what it would look like if it was progressing. I would do one, and then I would take that as a step. And I would do the next one. Take it as a step. Another one. Take it as a step. And by this time, I'm scary close to the camera. So that's as far as I'm going to go. But I think you get the idea. Again, you can certainly use the cane for this. Now, again, I want to re-emphasize, you don't have to kick high. You don't have to try to do these all at once. You don't have to feel bad about relying on a prop. In fact, my friend Joshua Grant at our academy, my partner Joshua, is teaching an entire routine based on the Tai Chi cane, where the movements are all propped up using the cane. If you want more information about that, by the way, you should send me a message through this YouTube channel or come on over to the website taijifit.net and send us a message because uh, we'd love to have you as a guest in one of our classes. All right, there you have it. Those are three basic kicking exercises, kicking drills to master the kicks of Tai Chi. Now stick around because I'm gonna share with you one more tip, right? The secret to mastering Tai Chi and life. Tai Chi Chuan is what is known as a living philosophy. This is its traditional nickname, meaning that it's a philosophy that is not reserved just for martial artists, or for scholars who wanna go into the library and search out books on a dusty shelf. No, it's a philosophy that's current and relevant no matter what year you live in. Here at the Tai Chi Academy, the Tai Chi Fit Academy, we have a particular overarching philosophy which goes like this. We get best at what we practice most, and we get worst at what we practice least. Which brings up a very interesting definition to understand what is meant by mastery. I recommend a book called Mastery by George Leonard. I'll put a little reference to it down in the description below this video so that you can go find it on your own. It's a very short book. It's a wonderful book written by a man that I had a chance to meet and learn from. The, uh, the man who actually coined the phrase, the human potential movement, right? And in this book, George Leonard describes the meaning of the word mastery as not a state to be attained, but a process to be involved in. It is like being on the road, on the path. And as long as you are on the path, as long as you are still working on it, you are mastering whatever it is you're pursuing. So to master Tai Chi is to put in the work of practice, to do the exercises and the drill. But what would it take to get you to do those exercises and drills? And I always say there's only one thing stronger than all of the things that you think you can't do anymore, and that is that you love it, that you find something within it that stimulates your heart, not your mind necessarily, not your body, but something right in here. So here is the question of the day for you. What is it that you have in your life that so touches your heart and soul that no obstacle is too big, no barrier is too tall that would keep you from it? Is it your family, your pets, uh, your art, or your simple practice of Tai Chi, or the contribution that you make to the world? Whatever it is, I'd love to have you share that with, you, with us if you don't mind. Just write it down in the comment section below and uh, we'll have a chance to, to find out more about each other. Now tomorrow, I have a very special video for you. So I hope you've watched this video lesson all the way to the end so that you are on the lookout for it first thing tomorrow morning. 
All right. Well, once again, I want to say thank you for spending some time with me in this video lesson. If this is your first time here and you haven't already subscribed, please do so because I'd love to share more of these lessons with you. And for all of you, if you had a good time in today's lesson, do me a favor and just hit that little like thumbs up thing down there. You know what to do. Appreciate that. If you haven't been sharing lately, just to remember the people that you told me about already that are in your life that you wish would be doing some of this and uh, hit that share button, let them know about it. And last but not least, I just wanna say once again, thank you so very, very much for giving me the opportunity to share my Tai Chi with you. I hope you have a wonderful evening and a great, great morning. I was gonna say a great good night's sleep, which I wish, I wish for you to have a great good night's sleep. And I'll see you tomorrow in tomorrow's lesson.